Home improvement can be very costly and tedious, but installing toilets is generally fairly inexpensive and simple. And then sometimes it's not. Sometimes you run into stuff like this that needs to be addressed. This video is all about how to help you if you run into complications while installing your toilet. It's time for you to go. The toilet in the main bathroom of the house just gets gradually more and more disgusting. Plus, not too long ago, we had a backup in our main duct and water came out from the bottom, which means there's a serious problem with leakage, plus the entire toilet kind of moves around and wobbles if you sit on it or lean on it, indicating that there's pretty bad problems to this. And knowing that, I mean, the sooner the better we get to it. First we get onto it by removing this old and archaic uh, plumbing line. You have to turn off your water first prior to that. Just remember that or you're going to have all kinds of problems. Then after that, it's as easy as removing the hardware. If the hardware actually removes. And looking at this one after we get it off, it doesn't look too promising. The screw's completely rusted out with a lot of the threads missing. That just looks yummy. Mm. So this one was rusted through so bad that when I tried to take it off, it, it like just exploded and twisted off. So that's really not good. So as expected, it's really disgusting down there and the wax ring is smushed around all over the place. And there's a bunch of other crud under there from the backup sewage, which is just what it is. Plumbing's disgusting. But here is the wax ring. You can see how it's all flipped down and molded and flattened more on one side. And that's gonna lead to inevitable leakage. And also a big problem with this hardware is this was rusted out, not just once, but maybe twice, because this is a repair ring and it's rusted out. Pretty done. Yeah. So. Let's see what this thing has in it, or I might be having to make a trip to Home Depot. <sighs> Shit. Off to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot we go to figure out all these things are and to get a new ones. All right, so let's see what we got here. So after talking to the guy at Lowe's, which they were extremely helpful, thank you. We have a repair ring. Apparently the other one was a repair ring so the initial fitting rusted out. So they put a repair ring on there and it rusted out. And it's likely because the toilet does move. And he said, because the toilet moved or is unlevel, he was talking about putting some sort of quick set like putty or cement in there to help it self level. And now looking at it, I think I knew what he was talking about, but like, I just couldn't get it. Um, what he was telling me, like I couldn't get how he was explaining. I get it now that it's our, that I already drove back home and Lowe's is like 30 minutes away. So not going back there. What he did tell me though is for a toilet that flexes, this fluid master is a rubber gasket versus a wax gasket. So when it seals, it will move with the toilet versus wax once you set it. And then if you move it, then obviously the wax form deforms every time you move it. So you can obviously get a leak and a crease there at any time. And that just won't happen with a rubber gas. So you said try this thing out. This one will bolt directly to the new uh, repair ring. So. Well, as long as the hose is intact, you can just use a repair ring. If that breaks, then you're out quite a bit of money. And you're going to have to talk to a plumber. All right, now to put on the repair ring. So we replaced an initial repair ring, which means this toilet was messed up twice. So I'm really hoping this gasket that we put on top of this repair ring actually does what it says it's gonna do and that it will move. Although we're gonna try really hard to get it level so that the toilet doesn't flex at all anymore after this. We could just try and put a wax ring on this again, but because we have this and I'm really hoping that it does what it says it's gonna do, it's got a nice foam bushing underneath the rubber and so it will flex in and out. So in the event that the toilet does shift for whatever reason, this will actually shift with the toilet versus the wax ring which once it's shifted, it's permanently dented in that way. Once you get past that part, installing a toilet is really easy. And if you had none of those issues, installing a toilet is really easy. Bolt washer through. And then this just has, you just use this as a big giant plastic nut that tapers and clamps down as it tightens through the hole. And you just, obviously you're just turning this.
Well, that's nice. Plus me a slow or closing lid that doesn't slam. They charge a whole lot of extra money for just a stupid seat. It's on there. It's about as straight as I think it's gonna be. But really because it's cushioned and then you have play within those those rubber bushings, you can actually level it. So it isn't actually actually level. I think it's level now. But if it's not level and if obviously that makes the water slant inside when it's filled up versus then we can adjust that so it won't be a problem. But we won't know that until a little bit later, but obviously we'll get We'll just get a leveler and stick it on top of the lid once we're completely done. Last but certainly not least, time to put that pesky line back on. <laughs> Alright, so it says all I gotta do now is fill it up. Obviously, we're gonna check for leaks. All right, so I got the water turned back on outside. Everything's plugged up, nothing is leaking. Now all I have to do is see how this fills and if it stops. If it doesn't stop, then we're obviously gonna have an issue, but it's supposed to stop right about now. There's the float, so let's see it. Oh, it stopped. And there is the water in there, water in there, the float stops. It's completely adjustable at this turn. So if we wanted more water in, we could let more water in, theoretically. Actually. Fill up a little bit more, because that's really not that much water. Put a little more pressure in there. All right. Ooh, the new toilet's awesome. Word it works just fine. All right, so more or less, installing a toilet is cake. Other than the rust out fiasco in the bottom, which was a hassle, but overall pretty good considering we got to use new products versus a wax ring. I mean, it's, it's nice, oh, it's nice. This is a Coher toilet. It is the one that has the, it had the, had the more advanced draining function, which is why we spent a little bit more money on it. And then it had the self-closing lid. They charged a lot more money for the stupid lid. And to be honest, it's kind of annoying. So that's it, pretty basic. All we have to do right now is trim the hardware down a little bit to put the little end caps they gave us with the entire thing. They give you all the hardware, the, Toilet even will come with a wax ring, so if you have a flawless setup there, just use the new wax ring and put it in there and make sure the hardware is seated correctly, the way there's no problems. Last but not least, caulk around 75% of the toilet. Leave the back 25% open, that way if it starts to leak, it'll come out the back of the toilet and you'll know it's the toilet versus the shower or the sink or something, you'll mistake it for water on the floor, and that's how you avoid having to go through this again. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe, help us out here. See ya.